Spread the fire. Um, this is Tessa Dunes reporting from The Rock, the Results Operations Center um, for the 2024 elections. And so it is an exciting, exciting, exciting day. Yesterday, so many people came out to vote. Millions of South Africans stood in queues, um, stood in lines, and put their X on the ballot. And I think for me, one of the best things about this election is that people actually showed up um, and that we now know that South Africans have not given up on on electoral processes, haven't given up on our democratic project. Our group assignment is going well, guys. Um, and despite all of the challenges that we've seen with the IEC, um, I think it is important for us to just take cognizance of the fact that um, we as a country, we as voters, have shown up and that when the votes do come through, they do reflect many of our aspirations, if not all of ours. Um, but just a bit of talking about results. We're going to be watching results today, probably Probably watching results come in tomorrow as well. Um, up until this morning, there were still people voting. Up until five or six o'clock this morning, and even throughout the night, voting stations were only counting and completing counting in many places this morning. So we know that the count is still on. But how do we interpret the results? So I just wanted to do a quick um, snapshot on how to really look at the results, understand the results, how for us to not panic before um, it's time to panic. So the first thing I want to say about the results is that there's no simple result in this election right now. What we're looking for um, really is, you know, that one number who got 50% or 60%. And that's not how this election is going to work. So as we remember, we've had three ballots in this election. Two of those ballots are to fill up seats in the National Assembly, the national ballot and the regional ballot. A lot of what is being reported in predictions um, and what you see on the screen over there is the national ballot. And that's usually what we would use to be able to say the ANC got 50 or the DA got 20% or whatever that is. But right now, what people get on that ballot is not the final determinant of seats in Parliament. There's also the regional ballots. The regional ballots, there are nine of them. And so in total, there are 10 ballots that are going to decide the National Assembly. And what a party needs is not 50% on the national ballot in order to get 50% um, in this election. They need 50% of the seats in Parliament. More than 200 of the 400 seats in Parliament. And so while we're all looking and with um, a lot of anticipation to what these um, percentages look like, ultimately only once we start getting a sense of what seats look like do we really know what the outcome of the national election will be. And so um, I just wanted to explain that so that people are also not um, taken by surprise if you think somebody's at 30% or 40% or 60% and then that changes once you see the seat allocations. The seat allocations are not going to be determined just by the national ballot. It's going to be a mixture of the national ballot and the regional ballot. So as we can see um, up on there, 11% of the voting districts counted is at about 960,000 votes. That's not 11% of the total vote. It is 11% of the voting districts. The voting districts that are counted first, typically in South Africa, are small voting districts, and most of those are rural voting districts. And so as we're looking at the picture early on, we're looking at the majority of the rural vote in the different provinces. As we get to the bigger metros, the three, the four biggest provinces are Gauteng, KZN, Eastern Cape, and Western Cape. Once we get to the metros and the counting of cities of like Joburg, um, Cape Town, um, Etiquini, all of those can change the picture dramatically because those are bigger voting districts and a lot more voting districts in one area. So the picture is likely to change as more of the urban vote comes in. Uh, but it's also important to note when we talk about the percentage of the vote that's counted, we're not talking about the actual number of votes, but the number of voting districts. And different voting districts are going to have different kinds of turnouts. But the reason why this is important as well is because then when we look at the bigger picture around how we're going to calculate seats, especially at the provincial level. You have to have the actual number of votes in order to determine seats. You can't determine seats based on percentages. You have to determine it on the base of actual votes. Votes counted. That's why we always say in our system, every vote does count. So as you're looking out, 
Number one, make sure that you don't conflate the national ballot with the complete national picture. Remember that the national ballot and the regional ballots are going to work together to come up with the outcome. Number two, that we're really early on in the process. That we're really looking now at 11% of voting districts, most of those small districts, most of those rural districts, and that gives us only half of the, the picture. But number three, that at a provincial level, we're going to have to look at the provincial dynamics quite closely. Um, we're starting to see projections come out as well, and I'm not going to even share what those projections are right now because trying to wrap my head around them. But also to remember that projections are based on the past rather than based on the present. People are taking what we have now as confirmed results and they're plotting it against the, the past, what we saw in other places in the past. The projections are not the results, guys. So if you do see a projection, you can look at that, take it as information, use it as a data point, but please don't share it as if it is the result. The projection is not the result. People were voting up till 5 a.m. this morning. The results are not final. The projections are not final. And so we must keep looking at the vote, understanding the vote, making sense of the vote. But let's keep going and let's keep watching the vote with um, certainty, with intensity and some um, uncertainty because I think this is going to be the most unpredictable election in the history of South Africa. Are you here?